Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Salyers, back here from the Music Factory Studios. Well, I thought this would be interesting because I keep seeing a bunch of people go, well, USB is good enough for professional audio. Well, I guess. Thunderbolt's faster, like double the speed, and in lower latency. But I thought I would do this with a, a nice control. So I have an audio interface that is both Thunderbolt and USB. And then I have a separate audio interface that is just Thunderbolt. So what I have is the Antelope Audio Discrete 8 Pro, which has USB 2.0 and Thunderbolt. And I also have a UAD Apollo, which is Thunderbolt. So we can compare USB speeds to Thunderbolt speeds. Now we're looking at the Discrete 8 in USB mode. And it's 64 samples. At 96K, all of these were done at 96K, you can see we're getting between five and seven milliseconds of latency. That's quite high, okay? 256 is the buffer size you would need to run 24 inputs and outputs live, okay? At 512, we're at 15 milliseconds, and then at 1024, it's 25 milliseconds. So double that if you're using 48K as your sampling rate. I'm using 96K in this example because it's, it's actually the best option for the lowest latency. Now, if we look at, here's 32 samples, it's still five milliseconds. That's ridiculous. Now let's look over at Universal Audio's Thunderbolt. Now I'm comparing the Antelope's USB to the UAD's Thunderbolt. Now, their 32 is two milliseconds. So a 32 buffer is two milliseconds. At a buffer size of 64, we're looking at 2.6 milliseconds, four milliseconds at 128, okay? 256 is 6.6, .6, which is really useful. Anything above about eight, nine becomes unusable when it's for live audio. So you got a band in a room playing or you take an audio interface out and play a live show with it, which I've actually done <laughs> quite a few times um, and used main stage as basically the mixer to a front end of a couple Thunderbolt interfaces. So as you can see at 256 at 6.6 .6 milliseconds, now I'm going to compare, compare Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt. Okay, so Thunderbolt on the Antelope Audio versus Thunderbolt on the UAD, okay? So now I'm on the discrete eight. At 32 samples, we had five milliseconds for USB. On this one, we have 0 0.9 milliseconds round trip latency. At a 64 buffer, the latency is 1.5 milliseconds, which is completely unnoticeable, okay? We're going to go to 128, which is 2.9. And then at 256, where it is only five and a half milliseconds. So at 256 buffer on this antelope interface, it's basically the same latency as if you had USB at its lowest 32 buffer. Think about that, okay? That's how many more tracks you could run at one time open with plugins on them. You could do a live show with a 256 buffer with 24 inputs and outputs through main stage. I've done that. Okay. Now compared to Universal Audio, which has a little more uh, latency, not much. Okay. So we're seeing the comparison here. At 128 buffer or 64 buffer, 2.9 on the discrete eight. versus four milliseconds on the universal audio. Now, the thing is, is on the universal audio, it's still fast too, okay? And it's usable, but it's using external digital DSP. Whereas the Antelope is using an, uh, a field programmable gate array, an FPGA, which is just a little bit different. I've noticed on the difference between like, we have a Personas Studio Live mixer and it uses a DSP chip versus we bought a little Allen and Heath that runs off an FPGA and the Allen and Heath just feels faster. 
Now, I've never tested like the internal inputs and outputs. It just feels faster. And the reason I know this is on a lot of those DSP based desks or uh, live mixers, sometimes if you're singing, you'll have to flip the phase on your vocal mic for in-ear monitors because of, of latency. On the Allen & Heath, I don't have that issue. It seems to be crazy fast internally. So there's the explanation. If you want to see what any of those were, just go back and look through it. If you can use Thunderbolt, use Thunderbolt. You will save a lot of time. All right, guys and gals, I hope that helps somebody out and explain to them the difference. See you next time. Like and subscribe.